SpaceX has now become the big guy in the industry, the one you turn to when everything else goes south, the guy you call when you need help the most, and they never disappoint. Even when it comes to their biggest rival, they don't turn them away. This is clearly evident in the ongoing Boeing Starliner problems, although it was confirmed a while ago that SpaceX would step in to rescue the astronauts stranded on the International Space Station, it's only recently that they've officially taken action. SpaceX is now already on the rescue mission, and in this video we're going to dive into all the details. So, what exactly went wrong with Boeing's Starliner? To put it simply, Boeing has been running from one problem to another throughout 2024, and it seems like this year might just mark the beginning of their downfall. If you ask me, the biggest reason for this downfall is the Starliner project, without a doubt. When NASA first awarded Boeing the contract for the Starliner, there was hope, genuine hope, that they would deliver the safest space capsule ever built. This wasn't just a regular project. It was supposed to be the crown jewel of Boeing's space exploration efforts. Interestingly, SpaceX was awarded a similar contract under NASA's commercial crew program to develop their own space capsule, the Crew Dragon. However, here's the twist. Boeing received nearly double the funding that SpaceX did. At the time, people didn't raise any eyebrows. After all, Boeing had decades of experience, and their achievements in the aerospace industry were legendary. Boeing wasn't just any company, they were a titan of the industry. It's worth remembering that Boeing was part of some of the most monumental achievements in space history. They played a crucial role in developing the first stage of the Saturn V rocket, the very one that carried astronauts to the moon during the Apollo missions. Yes, that's right. The Apollo capsule itself was a testament to Boeing's engineering prowess. Back then, they were known for quality, innovation. But here's the thing. Those glory days are long gone. After their monumental achievements in the 1960s and 70s, Boeing took an extended break from pioneering any groundbreaking space technologies. Shortly after NASA granted Boeing the Starliner contract, it became painfully evident that Boeing was not the same company we once knew. They were now more focused on maximizing profits than delivering a quality product. This is evident in the countless delays, technical glitches, and safety issues that have plagued the Starliner project from the very beginning. The Starliner has suffered one setback after another. First, there was the failed uncrewed orbital test flight back in 2019. Instead of reaching the International Space Station as planned, the spacecraft ended up in the wrong orbit due to a software glitch. Imagine that, a multi-billion dollar capsule failing due to software issues. If that wasn't enough, Boeing discovered additional software errors that could have led to a catastrophic failure had they gone undetected. The setbacks didn't end there. In 2021, Boeing was forced to postpone yet another launch attempt due to a malfunctioning valve system, an issue they still haven't fully resolved to this day. Every time they tried to fix one problem, another one popped up. It's like the Starliner is cursed with a never-ending cycle of technical failures. These constant setbacks have not only delayed the project, but have also raised serious questions about Boeing's ability to deliver on their promises. Fast forward to 2024, and Boeing continued to face a series of disastrous failures. Despite this, Boeing insisted they would finally get it right and launch a crewed mission to the International Space Station. This mission was meant to be their redemption, their chance to prove that they could still compete in the space industry. But what happened next only confirmed everyone's worst fears— before the Starliner even took off, there were significant issues. During the pre-launch checks, it was discovered that several critical systems were malfunctioning. But despite the red flags, Boeing assured NASA and the public that everything was under control, and they pushed forward with the launch. When the Starliner finally launched, it didn't take long for more issues to emerge. Shortly after reaching orbit, the capsule's communication system started to fail intermittently, making it difficult for ground control to maintain contact with the astronauts. On top of that, there were reports of malfunctions in the environmental control and life support systems, causing the cabin temperature to fluctuate and making it uncomfortable for the crew. 
These problems persisted throughout the journey to the International Space Station, but Boeing once again insisted that everything was under control. The situation worsened when the Starliner attempted to dock with the International Space Station. A problem with the spacecraft's docking mechanism caused multiple failed attempts, forcing the astronauts to take manual control to complete the docking process. This alone was a clear sign that Boeing had not resolved the technical issues for years. But the real disaster unfolded during the crew's stay on the International Space Station and their subsequent return journey. After spending several weeks aboard the space station, it was time for the astronauts to return home. But when they attempted to undock from the station, the Starliner experienced a serious malfunction in its propulsion system. The thrusters, which were supposed to guide the capsule away from the space station and begin its journey back to Earth, failed to fire correctly. This left the capsule stranded in orbit, unable to initiate its descent. As the days passed, it became clear that the astronauts couldn't wait any longer. They were running out of essential supplies like food, water, and oxygen, and it was becoming too risky to keep them on board the failing Starliner. Faced with no other option, NASA made a bold decision. They would leave the astronauts on the International Space Station and return the Starliner capsule to Earth without them. During the re-entry, there were genuine fears that the capsule might disintegrate, but fortunately, it managed to make a rough and uncontrolled landing in the desert. However, a much bigger issue remained. What about the astronauts stranded on the ISS? Boeing had to put aside their ego and seek help from their rival SpaceX, which was a significant blow to their reputation. Both companies were competing under NASA's commercial crew program, and Boeing initially received a contract worth $4.2 billion, while SpaceX received $2.6 billion. Despite receiving more funding, Boeing faced numerous delays and issues, while SpaceX successfully completed crewed missions years earlier. Adding to the embarrassment for Boeing, SpaceX is a much younger company, founded just two decades ago while Boeing has a long history as one of the oldest commercial space companies in the world. To avoid this embarrassment, Boeing tried everything to resolve the Starliner's problems on their own. Realizing they couldn't resolve the problems, Boeing finally accepted defeat and sought help from SpaceX. A SpaceX Dragon capsule was launched to bring back the two stranded astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams. The Dragon capsule, designed with two empty seats for Wilmore and Williams, successfully docked with the International Space Station. The Dragon capsule lifted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida, carrying NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov. The launch was initially scheduled for an earlier date, but was delayed due to Hurricane Helene, which had caused widespread destruction across the southeastern U.S., including Florida. The capsule finally docked as the International Space Station flew 265 miles above Botswana, southern Africa. If you've watched this far, it means you are one of our loyal viewers and I've got something special just for you. We have highly realistic Starship models available on eBay, exclusively for our dedicated fans. Head to the link in the description and grab your own model. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.